Jack, <laughs> is work okay? Uh, yeah. You know, you sold this as an office job. Why don't you sit down? Now talk me through your very scary scenario. Keep in mind, I don't have your PhD. Tokyo, London, the United States, that's gonna be a wipeout. We'll never see it coming. You're not just an analyst anymore. You're operational now. Jack? I have to go to Moscow. Why don't you want me to come? Because I'm gonna be working the whole time. They play rough over there, Jack. Victor Cherebin is unpredictable. You Americans like to think of yourselves as direct. Perhaps you are just rude. Perhaps you're just touchy. What the hell is going on here? Sometimes the ones closest to us are the ones we should trust the least. We all have our secrets. You think this is game, Jack? They will bring us to our knees without even firing a shot. There's a very real scenario here where we don't get out of this alive. We are compromised. If you find the truth, Will you believe it? Oh my God. Stars such as Alec Baldwin and Harrison Ford have triumphed in their portrayals of Jack Ryan, the Tom Clancy created CIA analyst that often finds himself embroiled in political intrigue or save the world scenarios. Other iterations of the character have included Ben Affleck in 2002's The Sum of All Fears. And now we have Chris Pine of Star Trek fame trying to make his mark as the analyst hero in the new film Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. Shadow Recruit follows Ryan, an analyst turned agent who investigates an imminent Russian attack on the US economy. He's guided by his mentor, played by Kevin Costner, through the shady world of espionage. But the question is, are Ryan's skills enough to foil the mastermind behind the nefarious scheme? Unfortunately for Pine, he misses the mark here. He doesn't carry the same presence as his predecessors did, and in spite of his enthusiasm in the role, his charisma just isn't enough to make a good impression. And if that's not bad news, the chemistry between him and Kira Knightley, who plays his fiance Kathy, seldom shared any sense of emotional bond as indicated here. You're not involving her in this. You involved me in this by not telling me. You gotta me. get her out of here, send her home. Well, what are you gonna tell Sheriff in that I'm home? These are dangerous people, Kathy. You cannot be here. If you told me who you really were, I I'd took an be. oath. I took an oath. I couldn't tell you unless we were married oh, and you wouldn't marry that's me. That's why you wanted to marry me? So that you had you could no, tell somebody come you were on, in the of course not. I, I, You I'm... lied to me for three years and you were good at it. I think you Kathy, actually enjoyed it. Can we have a, 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 a minute, please? No, you can't. I would like to talk to Jack This is Lowe, geopolitics. Please. It's not couples therapy. Do I really have to remind you what's at stake here, Jack? There's a very real scenario here where we don't get out of this alive. Any of us. Kenneth Branagh, who also directed Shadow Recruit, turns in a surprisingly decent performance as Viktor Sherevin, the Russian businessman behind the impending attack. Sherevin may appear a traditional Russian antagonist with a bone to pick with America, but Branagh brings a humanity to the role, which I think can help audiences identify with him and his motives. But where Branagh stumbled was in the director's chair. Billed as an espionage thriller, Shadow Recruit was little more than 105 minutes of tensionless motion and needless exposition. And not for one second was there a feeling of impending doom or apprehension. The film's attempts to create suspense fell short of my expectations, especially during the car chases taking place in Moscow and Manhattan. Do yourself a favor and let's just forget this spy's mission ever happened and send in someone more reliable to protect America in the future. That's all I have to say about Jack Ryan's Shadow Recruit. This is Noah Lee with the Coast News, signing off.